I'm feeling a bit tired, darling. Why don't we pull over and have a drink, eh? Hey, that's a great idea. I thought of the 69 Spedleza for a few minutes, but I think we'll have this old tawny fort instead. It's really quite a splendid wine. Not a bad year either. Oh, and um, by the way, don't forget the 60 minute sleep timer for the stereo and turn the light dimmer switch down a little bit later on as well. Here. You know, it's really quite extraordinary, but here I am in the back of a van. And I'm not joking, it has a wine rack, it does have a selection of wines, it does have a 60 minute sleep timer for the stereo, it has light dimmer switches, electronically operated curtains, and a whole host of other quite extraordinary features. I didn't start out to build a show van. It started out as a hobby and it turned out when it was finished it was good enough to show, so I show it. You, know? you mentioned it's a show van. I mean, do you take it away for a weekend? Oh, well, it's the only car I've got. You know, I drive it to work every day, I drive it everywhere I go. You know? It's makes it a bit hard keeping in good nick. You know? A lot of guys have got two cars, run two cars. It's the only one I've got. You know? I hate to raise the sordid subject of money, but a road rig like this looks very, very expensive. Yeah, well, it's cost me out of my pocket in the vicinity of ten to $12,000 without load. If you want to take labour into it, you'd be probably working on a ten dollar hourly rate, you're probably looking at about $35,000. Have you done most of the work yourself? I've done all of the work except seats and the vinyl top and a couple of other things like that that have been done by a friend. Has it been worth it or do you sometimes stand back and think, gosh, am I crazy doing all this? Oh, no. Sometimes you sit back and you wonder whether it's all been worth it, but when you get you get the appreciation of people who come along and admire it, then it does a lot for you, and it, it's full of satisfaction. You could be easily deceived looking at this little Mazda van, or it looks like a little Mazda van on the outside, but it's pretty special inside. Of course, it has all the usual interior luxurious fittings, the crushed velvet and things like that, but the engine is something really special. It has an RH5 rotary engine, and that's one of the fastest rotary engines that there is. The car's been specially geared for racing performance, and it has a Porsche gearbox. And, listen to this one, that means it has a top speed in excess of 150 miles an hour. This particular one I don't use for weekends because there's sort of too much money involved in doing a vehicle like this. Um, like this particular vehicle cost me 4,000, and so far it's cost me 18,000. These vans needn't cost a lot of money. This one, for example, was picked up on a farm where it was used for carting hay. And, as far as the interior is concerned, not a lot of money was necessary to do it up and fit it out. How much did this van cost? Uh, $1,400. And how much money have you spent doing it up? Well, shopping around about 2000 So altogether it's only cost you a little bit over $3,000. That's right. Yeah, 3000 do you do the work yourself? I have to, I can't afford labour. <laughs> and of course, a van like this isn't just something lavish and comfortable. You can pull over to the side of the road, park, and of course, it's completely private too. Mm -hmm. 